Hi everyone, my name is Chris Gamble and I'm in the developer relations team here at Hologram. If you don't know, Hologram is a cellular connectivity company. We do things like this. This is our uh, SIM card and that enables your connected devices to connect to cellular towers and transmit data back to the internet. So uh, we don't just do connectivity. We, that is obviously one of the big things we do, but we also make hardware, we also make software, but those are in the service of kind of helping you get your stuff online easily. Today, I wanna talk about everyone's hardware because the thing is, yes, we make hardware, yes, we make software, but we try and work with everyone else's hardware and software as well. That's, again, in it to enable you to get your project online using cellular quickly. So I wrote a new document and a new blog post about it, and it's called Comparing Cellular Hardware. And this is something that I'm gonna keep updating over time, right? So as we hear about new hardware, there's more CAT M1, uh, LTE CAT M1 is a new thing coming out of the market right now. There's gonna be a lot of new hardware from that. There's also NB IoT, which is narrowband IoT. Uh, that's uh, big in Europe and other places as well, but that's coming online. There's tons of hardware for that as well. And so this is gonna be an increasingly important document, I think, because you're gonna see more and more stuff coming out of the market and it's gonna be harder to, to decide. Not only that, you're not gonna to wanna to design in the old stuff. You know, if you look at a new piece of hardware, you say, oh, there's a SIM card slot. I should probably, you know, maybe I should just use that. Well, not all hardware is created equal and it might not be a good fit for your, for your application. So let's take a, look, a, qu a quick look at this post. Uh, so this is a post that uh, I've been working on here and I kind of explain a lot of the categories that I'm working on and why did I even put some of these things in there in the first place. So please do read through the post before you get up in arms here. If you do get up in arms though, uh, I, I have something specific about this. Uh, you know, if you wanna contribute, you can do that, right? So if you see something missing, if you see something wrong, if you have new hardware you wanna contribute, please do submit a pull request. This is all on GitHub for a reason. And let's actually take a look here. So it is on GitHub. It's under our Hologram Education account, which is a, new, a newer account that we have. This is our community supported uh, documentation and hardware. So it's all on there. Uh, and so you can submit a pull request and we'll you know, take a look at what you're trying to submit. And if it's a good fit, we'll definitely put it in there. Uh, but we really, uh, it's, it's more about, you know, does, did your format uh, fit the spreadsheet right? So, uh, and we'll be doing more and more of this over time as well. Uh, taking a look at some of the actual hardware here, le oops, uh, let's, let's take a look at some of the actual boards that we're talking about. So these are some, some people that we know in the area, right? So this is uh, the Botletics board. This is uh, uh, Tim. Uh, Timothy Wu, who's working on that one. This is the MKR1400. This is from our friends over at Arduino. And this is the PyCom GPI. So this is a, um, you know, uh, a board that has cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth on it. They also have the FiPi, which includes LoRa and Sigfox as well. Uh, but all of these work on our network, right, using our, our SIM card here. And uh, you know, they all have SIM card slots. Uh, SIM card slot here is on the front. Uh, backside too, and that is a good way to tell. Now, obviously, we do have our own hardware, right? This is something that we, um, you know, we work on, and this is something that uh, you know I'm, I'm a big fan of. Uh, uh, this is our, our Dash, and this is our Nova. This one works with uh, single board computers like Raspberry Pi. This is an embedded module here, <coughs> and it's important to know, like, so so this is what we've done workshops with in the past, right? So this is a uh, a board that is uh, 2G. It uses a SIM 800L, so it's a 2G module. And so this kind of thing is actually something that's gonna be, uh, might not be the best fit for your application. Yes, they are very low cost hardware. That's why we like using them from workshops. But at least in the States, sim, uh, 2G hardware is actually going to not be covered in the coming year or so. There's no hard dates yet, but we heard 2019 is when all that stuff's getting sunset. So that's really important to know and to compare all this stuff, right? So on the, if you go and look on the, uh, the sheet here. Uh, so if you uh, go to the sheet, you can actually see a comparison here and you'll see that these, these modules are marked as having 2G coverage only, right? So we mark 2G, 3G, uh, CAT M1 and NBIOT. So we basically make it easy to sort by all this stuff as well. And that's the important thing here. So like I said, that module specifically would probably not be a great fit for any new hardware that you're doing. But if you, you know, if you wanna do, if you wanna just try out cellular in the first place, it might be a good way to start. Uh, you can also do things like this uh, cellular coverage maps and that's something that basically tells you if you do have 2G coverage in your area. <clears throat> this all to say, uh, there's a ton of hardware out there. There's a lot more coming and we're really excited about it. We wanna make sure it all works on the hologram network. And that's, uh, that's something that I'm here for and my, team, uh, my teammates are here for. Uh, if you have any questions about you know, how to get your stuff connected, how, you know, specifically if it's our hardware, you know, we can help even more there. 
but you know, we, we understand that you know, there's a wide range of hardware that's out there, and we want to make sure that the hologram sim and our connectivity layer works really well with all of that stuff. So you can go over to community.hologram.io. That's our community site. You can ask questions over there. It's a forum. You can you know, post questions about what you're having problems with, hopefully your successes as well. We also uh, post a lot of our projects on, or tutorials rather, on Hackster. And so if you're going through it and you say, oh, you know, this, I had a problem with getting uh, this, this new hardware online, but I was able to get through it, you know, you can go and post it on Hackster, link us on there, and we'll actually feature it on our page as well. And that's a great way to kind of share your knowledge. Uh, if you're a consultant, it's a great way to showcase that you are good at getting things online. And, and that's an important thing as well, because there's going to be more companies, we think, putting cellular hardware online as well. So, like I said, if you have any questions, you go over to. <coughs> Woo, wow, I'm so excited I can't even, can't even talk here. You can go over to community.hologram.io, uh, ask your questions there, read about what other people are doing, and uh, we'll have links for all this stuff down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your cellular hardware.